Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. Today we're looking at swollen hocks. Big, swollen, abscess, pus infected hocks. Which is basically a cow's knee. Well, it's actually a heel on her back legs. And we're looking at why they get swollen, what can happen when they get swollen, and how farmers can avoid it really surprisingly easily. This is the Hoof GP. If you haven't already subscribed, you know what to do. Click the button down below and join the herd. In the meantime, enjoy the intro. So what is it we're actually talking about? A cow's heel is halfway up her leg. That seems a bit strange, but it is true if you look at their skeleton. We call it the hawk, and it's a part of the cow's anatomy that is extremely prone to injury. We've had videos on the channel before where hawks have literally exploded in my face and have been covered in pus, which is not nice. It's not nice for the cow, it's not nice for me. It's just not nice. But aside from that, it makes the cow extremely uncomfortable. But the process by which it happens is completely under our control. And that is the part that actually hurts the cow. You see, cubicles like this are poorly designed. So when cows bash into them or lean on them like this, there's only one winner and it's not the cow. You need to lie by cows as a film this. Friendly though. Oh, maybe not. These bashes, bumps and scrapes and leaning constantly into these hard objects cause problems like this. Swollen hocks. These are abscesses and cysts round about a cow's heel which is actually what we would probably refer to as our knee, that cause a huge amount of pain and cause difficulty to walk. In cases like this, this is actually my old crush by the way, they can actually burst and rupture when we do anything with their feet. As you've just seen, this one exploded as soon as I lifted it up. Imagine the relief she felt from that happening. Did you guys see that? This next cow actually had an accident whereby she got stuck in a cubicle and that caused this colossal abscess to form on her hip. That's the vet lancing her in my old crush around a year and a half ago. As you can see, that abscess is absolutely gigantic and it only happened because she got stuck in a rigid cubicle. Now I'm not hating on steel cubicles, I'm not saying they're satanic, I'm not saying they're the worst thing in the world. This is something that really happens, but the fact is, it does happen because those cubicles are poorly designed. But it's not just swollen hocks that I'm interested in. Easy Fix look after cows and Easy Fix are doing more than anyone else in the world that I know of to make sure that cows are as comfortable as possible. And we all know that I like cows to be as comfortable as possible. It is absolutely in a farmer's interests to make sure that a cow walks 100% perfectly as much as possible. It may seem obvious, but metal cubicles don't bend. They don't flex out of the way, and sometimes they're poorly designed. But more than that, cows are not all identical shapes, so not every cow will fit every cubicle, and vice versa, if that makes sense. Cows are not like us. When they go to sit down or lie down, they just don't go straight down vertically. They kind of lunge forward, slightly to the side, and then vice versa when they get back up. And poor cubicle designs like these ones here basically mean that the cow is banging her ribs or banging her hips or banging her hocks off these hard, rigid cubicles. But what can we do about it? The majority of cows live on mattresses. That's right, mattresses, just like you or I do when we go to our beds. Cows have mattresses within their cubicles and they're designed to give a farmer maximum profit by making the cow as comfortable as possible. These mattresses, if they're designed properly, will encourage a cow to lie down more often, thereby chewing the cud a little bit more. You see, cows have four stomach compartments and they regurgitate the grass or the silage they eat and they chew it later on. That's called chewing the cud and it's when cows really make their milk. A lot of the mattresses on the market are really abrasive. Combine that with sawdust and a little moisture and you've got the perfect perfect environment to scrub those rear hocks, get them inflamed and cause these abscesses. These abrasive mattresses act just like sandpaper would on our skin. Thankfully though, there is a company out there. There are people in the world making cows more comfortable and I'm not just talking about hoof trimmers, I'm talking about Easy Fix. That's right, Easy Fix do sponsor the channel. So yeah, I'm gonna say nice things about them, but actually that's my choice. They didn't come to me for sponsorship. I went to them and I know that their products are the best. So I figured I have a big audience. They have awesome products. 
I want my farmers and my customers to do better for their cows. Why not help each other mutually? And they said yes. But do easy fixes solutions really work or are they just gimmicks? Well, let's find out from one of their customers who has experience. There is an answer and I'm on my way down to Wales to find out exactly what those answers are and how they're working for this very special lady. Ha! Which brings us all the way down to Wales or Wenvo more specifically, which is just outside Cardiff, to a woman called Abby Reader's Farm. And Abby is all over social media. She is an amazing woman. The amount of things she does for the farming community is astronomical. She's even got an MBE awarded by the Queen. But we're here in South Wales to see what Abby is doing that's so special to look after her cows. Abby's farm lies right on the edge of South Wales and she's surrounded by lush green pastures. She's milking 200 cows and she's making an awesome job of it. So I nipped all the way down to Wales to find out exactly why Abby likes Easy Fix, how long she's had their cubicles, and what she thinks the advantages are. These have been in 18 months. Why, like, why did you bother to put them in and why did you like them? I saw these in agricultural show. I've seen the wooden ones, the old Newton Rick style, a couple of the mushroom types. And I spoke to a few farmers who put them in and I thought, I've, I've got to put these in. I love them. I love it. When they get up or when they lie down, if they knock themselves, it doesn't hit. You know, yeah. they always say you can tell a good cubicle kind. If you walk around cubicles, you look for the shiny bits, that's where they're bumping themselves. Yeah. Whereas here, it doesn't happen. They they get up, they accidentally bump themselves. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, have you ever had one stuck in these cubicles? We've had one and we just stood back and left her alone for 20 minutes. Ah, and yeah. she got up on her own. <laughs> I spent the first month running up and down here thinking that cows had died because they were literally like that. <laughs> that. I've, I've never seen anything easy like Easy Fix killed my cows. Yeah. What's amazing about the Easy Fix cubicles, yeah, the cubicles are bendy, but the mattress, so the mattress we put in here was the deluxe version, which is five centimetres. That mattress will revamp anything. And so you put Easy Fix mattresses in yeah. as well? Yeah. Can we go and have a look? Yeah, yeah. So the keen-eyed amongst you will have noticed something pretty major missing from Abby's sheds right now. That's right, her cows are out at grass. Abby grazes her cows as often as she can during the summer months. In other words, when the weather is good enough. Abby's cows absolutely love being outside, but as I said before, the weather doesn't always permit it. And that's why Abby does everything she can to make them just as comfortable inside. Come on, so if you stand up that just, yeah, yeah, it's not something down, dollar. I feel I should also point out that if I wasn't here right now, Abby's next job on the list was to scrape out these passageways. So we've got a backside rubbing on there. Is this, is this uh Yeah, the head scratcher in the neck. Do they actually use it? Oh yeah. They do? Look at it. You can see all the Well, that's what I was thinking. I thought, is that just a gimmick or is it? Yeah, they love it. I've got images of them, They're particularly this bit. It's like having a cow brush like, in yeah. every cubicle. Yeah, that's right. It encourages them to be confident, to stand forward on the rail as well and, and get up in the bed. This is a nice touch, nice the way touch. it just cambers off because that's stopping the rocking on the back of the cubicles. So underneath there, I'm right thinking there's concrete, then there's two layers of foam, and then there's the top rubber yeah, coat. There's, there's, yeah, it's concrete. There is some foam, and then there's uh, the mattress, which has got like teeth, a bit like this. All right, okay. There's, there's teeth under there, and I suppose that's what makes it really spongy. And it is, it, it's softer than grass. There's no doubt about it. The surface is really good, I have to say, for if you want to scrape muck off, it just slides off, and then we just put sawdust on every day. You've got to put it in as a, part, as a package of a new. The curb stone is a good height compared to our older sheds. That makes a difference. The light, the air, everything that, that adds in. You, you've got the luxury of putting up a new shed. Get it all right, then just... Yeah. These are... You know, these are so good. And see what you were saying about the shininess of the cubicle. You can see these rub because, but they push out the way because the whole thing's slightly shiny. Yeah. On the other ones, it's about here, isn't it? Yeah. Like on the, on the yeah. upriser. Yeah. And the, the pillows, you know, like the, the brisket board. Yeah, so massively underestimated, underestimated by me is valuable. I'm a typical farmer. I would have, I would have left those out to save a few quid. Yeah. But they came with the package and that was it. So when they went, once I saw the cows using them and how much they use them, I realised how valuable they are. You're saying this in a different way from what I'm thinking. So a brisket board, to me, is for keeping a cow in the right level in a cubicle. Sounds like you, you say they use them in a different uh, way. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it does make them light properly, but they use them, they interact with them, they love. It looks so uncomfortable, but they love to put a front leg over, the, over, over it. Right. And they love to lie their heads across it. I've never seen anything like it, I have to say. <laughs>
So yeah, this is where we've got, it's a bit of a refab building. We've taken old building down and slotted this one in the space. But we put the easy fix mattress in just to make it more comfortable. These little like quite new cubicles. Yeah, this is some are, some aren't. Some we've had, they were sort of temporary ones, and every so often we bring them out in the winter and put them in a silage clamp to make a bit more room. Right, okay. And then we've just sort of amalgamated them all around here now and, and linked them all up. So they keep moving in various places, um, but they've settled here now. Quite but, handy, that. How do you get on the short horns? They've been in the family since since the family came here. Right. All of the black and white cows are descended from the short horns as well. Everybody had them. Uh, I suppose the, the main challenge with them is there aren't many genetics around. They are dying out. Yeah. On the critical list. So it's quite hard. You know, when you get a good one, she's really good, but you'll get, you know, you'll get a lot of sort of throwbacks. So we're focusing now on just trying to get a, a nucleus of cures of about 30 that we will really protect. You know, they're strong long life cows. This is a nice farm. A really nice farm. Unfortunately, I know she's got a really good hoof trimmer. Plus, it's maybe a little bit far for my daily commute. Spending a couple of hours with Abby and her co-worker Ross was awesome. She clearly loves her cows and I love being around anybody like that. The place was really, really good and we got talking about everything to do with feet, including the concrete floors. You track, right? Is that the, the very deep parallel lines? Yes and no. So there's two types. There's one that's called and they're deep, wide grooves, like exactly what you're saying, they're all yeah. parallel. And it's terrible, yeah. unbelievably bad for your cows because it, the, the grooves are too wide. Yeah, that's what you think. You can see a claw going in there and... That's exactly what does yeah. happen. Yeah, they're really, it's really bad for cows. And then you get track right, which is like, the grooves are slightly thicker than each of these grooves, but they're very sharp and very deep and fantastic. The grip is like phenomenal. They're only this wide. So it's not like a cow could like yeah, snap, yeah. snap a white line into it or anything. Yeah. I used to concrete groove, I'll never do it again. <laughs> Abby has what once were slippery corners exit in the parlour all concrete grooved and she says it's helped massively. She also has a hoof count foot bath, which in my opinion is one of the best in the business. This is it completely emptying itself, cleaning itself down and refilling it all by itself. You can set these foot baths to change as often as you like. And Abby has this one change every 150 cows, so the solution is always perfectly fresh and as clean as it possibly can be. Abby told me she absolutely loved this foot bath because it's now a job she never really has to even consider. I'm so glad I made the trip down to Wales. As you can see, her cows were exceptionally friendly and meeting Ross and Abby was a true pleasure. I really enjoyed my weekend. And with that, that is us finished here in Wales and that is the end of the video. Guys, thanks very much and a massive thanks to Abby Reader for showing us around this awesome farm in South Wales. So what do we think of Abby's farm? Tremendous, isn't it? Glad you watched. Tell me below. Tell me if you've made it this far in the video because videos like this, although they are really informative and they give farmers a fantastic view into how they can improve productivity, make their cows more comfortable and thereby make more money. Sometimes other guys like you guys in the cities maybe find them a little bit boring. To me, they're not. This is how you make cows more comfortable and this is what my life is all about. Reducing lameness, reducing stress on cows and maximizing profit for farmers by doing that very job. I love it not because it maximizes profits or makes people more money. I love it because it makes cows more comfortable and doing that every single day of the week is a fantastic job. Guys, thanks very much for watching if you've made it this far. I really appreciate all of your likes, comments and love. You are fantastic. Go and check out Easy Fix's main website. It's in the description below if you haven't already. Trust me, it's worth it. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do right now by clicking the button at the bottom of the screen. Goodbye.